Welcome to this project and task template demonstration by Intraface. I am Andy Naylor, Head of Customer Success. We are Bitrix24 Gold Partners, providing implementation, customization, training and support. Covered in this demo is going to be how to create a project template, how to create a task template and also how to create and use a business process to start a project from within the CRM. So let's jump into Bitrix and first of all, look at how we can create a project template. So we jump into the work group section and then what we would need to do is click on create for a new work group. And we would spend the time going through each of the different settings in the work group area. So we would select project we would then click on features and enable all of the different features that we would want, go through whether we would want to make it public or private, and then invite everybody into this project. Now, this is going to act as a template that you're going to use over and over again. So you're just setting the core parameters. So, for example, project name really should be the template name. Let's look at an example that I've set up. So we've got client project template here. So once I click into it, what we've got is a series of tasks that have already been created. So we spent some time working out all of the different tasks here. So we've got book introduction call, create support user and client onboarding. So if I was to click into the client onboarding task, for example, we'd be able to see a lot of detail has been added to this task, including checklist, the people responsible for it, and any time parameters that are required. What I've also done is I've added a couple of folders within the drive, so a specification document and onboarding documents. And basically, I've set this template up so every time we have a client project, I can just come into this pro project template Click on the About Project in the top right hand corner, click on About Project, and then in here I have the ability to copy the project. So I could type in here Interface Call, and then I can put a project start date of today. You can see that the users have already been added in the template, and you can see here that we can copy over existing tasks existing drive so those folders will nicely copy over uh, and we can even put a welcome message as a standard in our template too we've got a project tag if i click on copy what that will then do is it will create our new project work group and what you'll be able to see is that the tasks have been nicely copied through as have the drive folders so you don't have to put all that work in again all you need to do is spend the time in the first instance setting up your project template in a work group and then you can copy and replicate that over and over again. So the second area that we'll look at is the tasks and projects area and what we can do here is create task templates. So if you have repetitive tasks that need to be carried out and you just want to create the task on an ad hoc basis then you can create a task template inside the tasks and projects area. So if I click on templates, I can click on create here. And what you'll see is just the standard task uh, form to fill out. Uh, the only differences are in here that we have a deadline in. So I could say that this task should take us five days, for example. If we scroll down, generally in a task template, you wouldn't use the add to project or add to CRM because that's likely going to change every time you use this task template. But as we scroll down, you can see some other parameters in here. But most importantly, when you create a task template, only yourself will have access to it. If you want to grant access to any other user, you can add them. Read only means that they can't change the core template. So this is what I'm setting up here. But if you want them to be able to change the template for other people to use a template over and over again, you can give them full access. Once you're happy with it, you can click on save and it will appear in your template area here. 
So I'll show you now how to use the task template and create a new task from it. So instead of clicking on the create button, we click on the down arrow here, click on tasks using template, and I'm going to select our test template support client onboarding. Here you can see that everything is preset based on the time that you've spent creating the task template. We have two checklists here. We have the set people uh, that are responsible for the task and involved in it. But we also have a deadline that is set to three days time. What you should then do with the template is add it to a project maybe, add it to uh, the CRM area in here, and then you can scroll down and you can click on add task. That will then preset everything inside the task. And if I click onto it in here, then you can see that everything has been created uh, nicely. And again, you, that means you don't have to keep spending time going over and over this same task. So it's nicely uh, presented in our task list. So the third and final area of this is being able to template a project and run it directly from within the CRM. So if I click on to the CRM settings and then CRM settings, then you'll see the automation link in the left hand menu. If I click on business processes here, I click into the company templates uh, and you can see our client onboarding business process. So what I've done here is I've created a series of different actions that can all be found in the business process editor tool on this right hand side. Initially, we create the client work group using the create work group option in the other section. And then we create two tasks, uh, the introduction call task and the support task. The key area in here is that we assign it to the work group that's being created inside this business process. And then finally, we create our two document folders in here. The only difference with this process is that it is manually run and in our parameters section we have a series of form fields. We have the account manager, we have the introduction deadline, support manager and support deadline and that's created in the parameters section. So if I come out of here and then go into our company area and let's run this from Bitrix24. Then in the top right hand corner of our company, we have the workflow tool. We'll click on client onboarding and here you will see our parameters that are selected. So I'm going to select my account manager as myself. I'm going to say that the introduction deadline is going to be the 17th. Our support manager is going to be Katie and the support deadline is going to be the 24th. So once I start this process, what that will do is it will create a work group for our project. It will add the relevant people into it. It will also create two tasks and you can see that they're nicely associated to the Bitrix24 company. But furthermore, if I go into the work group section in here, then you'll be able to see our new project work group that has been created. If I click into it, what we'll notice is that it's created our two tasks. Uh, and furthermore, when I put input the uh, book introduction called deadline to the 17th of February. That's nicely put the deadline in this task. And we have a create support user task with the deadline of the 24th. And again, the responsible people have been input in the pop-up form parameters run from the company. And then finally, what we have is the drive folders that were created throughout running the business process. So there you have it. There's another way that you can template a project and run it directly from within the CRM. It doesn't have to be run just on a company. It could be run automatically maybe on a one deal, uh, a one lead or inside a contact too. So thank you very much for watching. Please get in touch with us for a full demonstration or to find out more about this and other solutions, please go to interface.com slash solutions. Thank you and bye for now.